So uh, the illuminator is fired up and running. Um, we have most of the wiring done. She's to be cleaned up and wrapped. A few little things to clean up, but uh, other than that, we're gonna start body work. So I'm gonna do a time lapse video, uh, maybe show you some details, uh, how to do body work. But as you can see, we started blocking here already, uh, all blocked out. That's pretty much all blocked out. The key thing is when you start to see where it's all even like this, low spot, low spot, low spot then you know you're you're not quite there but when it's all even like this you know you're ready for paint so we'll do a time lapse video so you can get an idea what's going on so here my son is using the da to knock all the molding lines down and uh, get them pretty much level to body sometimes they're a little low uh if you have to grind down to get some deep you know craters which you can go back through and fill with I know a lot of guys use the 3M. I don't know the product. I just use the uh, fiberglass short strands. It's got Kevlar in it. Really good stuff. Um, I'm back there blocking. So he's hitting all the mold seams. You can see me in the back. I'm uh, using a, I don't know, I think it's a 9-inch uh, flat board trying to clean it all up. So this goes on for a while. Uh, as you can see, it's a lot of work. Uh, this was time-lapse video over quite a bit of time and uh, compressed into pretty much nothing. So, uh, yeah, a lot of work, and uh, this is why a good paint job costs, you know, ten, fifteen, eighteen thousand dollars $18,000, so. But uh, you get the idea what goes on here. So, my son has knocked down all the uh, mold seams to where they're level. So, now we're going to go through and pick out all the clay. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So, the mold seams, they use some sort of clay, and you see the kind of the brighter red? Um, that's all got to be kind of picked out of there. As you can see, the screwdriver kind of picks it out. I don't think the body filler is going to stick to that very well. So you got to clean all that stuff out of there before you throw the body filler. So we're going to spend this whole thing just picking all this clay out. Take a little while, but not too bad. I mean, it's, it's easy work. It's just kind of brain dead. So we're picking all the uh, clay out. So now I'm going to use a stiff uh, stainless steel wire brush. And I'm going to start scraping to make sure I get it all out before we fill it with body filler. So uh, we'll leave this actually real time. I'm not going to do time lapse here. Just so you guys get an idea what's going on. So. Plus it also scuffs up the uh, area really well. Okay, I think you've seen enough video on this one, so uh, maybe we'll show you some body filler time once we get to that stage. We'll start floating some uh, filler into some of these gaps. I'm going to use a short strand fiberglass reinforced body filler, so I'll show you the can once we get there. So, thanks. So, I'm going to take compressed air and I'm going to run the air into the gaps, as you can see like this. That'll help blow anything that's in there out, and then I can come back through with body filler, which we'll show you next. We'll gap this thing like that, and then I'm gonna wipe it all down with a damp rag, and then it's body filler time. Okay, so... So we're gonna use this short strand fiberglass reinforced body filler. It's got Kevlar with superior strength, they say. Who the hell knows? Um, I kind of mix this up as best you can, which it's usually pretty well mixed. Once it get, the can gets down, uh, then it takes a little more. So I'm gonna take a chunk of this out of here, put it onto this. I don't do too much at a time because this stuff, especially in that heat out there, this stuff is gonna harden up uber fast. Um, so I'll probably keep a little bit light on the hardener so I've got a little more workability time. Uh, it's not too light on the hardener. Then to mix this, you don't want to just stir it because then you just introduce air bubbles. I don't think it's as critical for this stuff. This is just like my first rough coat just for strength. And then you gotta mix all so it's all that all that blue is mixed in with the green. I'm kind of pressing down, try to press out any air bubbles. That I know it's not that critical with this. This is not my final coat of anything. Okay. 
Okay, now let's follow me out here. We're going to get this on here. We're okay, so I'm just going to kind of press this into the, the cracks. All I'm doing is just kind of pressing it in. Like I said, it's just a quick. Just a quick coat here. about a whole lot it's gonna be fast because it's drying already don't want to get too much on that edge there because that's all got to come off and this stuff this Kevlar stuff is brutal starting to harden up I gotta get moving but we're gonna have a whole lot of nothing on our hands here is hardening up. Yeah, it's getting very hard to work with now. I'm just trying to finish it off so I don't waste any. you body work guys at or don't critique me because I got a buddy who does this for a living and he's way better than I am. He could spread this stuff to where almost you don't even need to sand it. I'm not that good. That's what a DA is for. I don't do this that much. I try to do as little as possible actually because painting cars is hard hard work. Those guys that do this for a living they earn their money. Every penny of it. It's not something you want to do for a living. Alright it's done. It's, it's not working anymore. So this stuff here, I'll leave on here and this will crack off later. I'll wipe this down with some acetone and clean up my fingers. Okay, so we got our first coat. We didn't cover all the ran, kind of started hardening up. This stuff is probably already, yeah, I can already start sanding that stuff. So as you can see, it's quick and simple, nothing pretty. Hit it with the DA, knock it down, then we'll skim coat it with uh, probably Rage Gold, which is my kind of go-to body filler. And uh, then we'll be getting close to getting this thing ready for primer. So once we start cleaning up a lot of the edges, things like that. But uh, you get an idea of what we're doing with here. As I said, DA next, and then uh, Rage Gold to then block it out. This is just to fill in those gaps. You know, as I can see in there, this stuff is strong as hell. So right in there is going to be really strong with this stuff in there. So that's where it kind of fills in those pockets. As I said, it's fiberglass, Kevlar reinforced.